our very special guest vocalist today, the Bahamas Public Officers Choir. As they take their position, they will begin this very dynamic occasion with two songs of worship and praise.
Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band. Come on, you can do much better than that. Let's welcome them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guests, the Jamaican Police Force Band. Let's show them some love from the Bahamas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our host band for tonight, please help me welcome the Bahama Brass Band. Let's show them some love. Let's give all of our bands a rousing round of applause tonight. Coming now with our opening prayer, please welcome Bishop Cheval Gray. Thank the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we humbly approach your mercy seats this evening and we say thank you. You've been a friend to the friendless and we say thank you, God, because you never fail. As we come this evening, God, we pray that your blessings will be empowered upon this concert. We pray for each of these band that as they play, God, you give them the unction to function. We pray for the anointing to be unleashed in this house. Then when we would have come to the end of this service, God, souls will be saved and sanctified baptized in the Holy Ghost and with fire. 
Holy Spirit, we pray you will take charge. Uh, God, help them to understand that they are not just playing, but they are ministering. So we beg you, Holy Spirit, to send ministering angels at this time. And that you will touch their fingers and their lips. Uh, and whatever should come out, God, we would say like the psalmist, uh, oh, blessed are they that knows the joyful sound. Uh, oh, God, we've come tonight uh, and we bore the words from the psalmist, uh, which says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands uh, serve the Lord with gladness. Uh, and so, God, we pray in the name of Jesus, uh, tabernacle with us. We beseech thee, O God, show us thy glory. Take charge tonight in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit and the people of God say, Amen. Coming at this time with our welcome address and introduction of our Master of Ceremonies, Billy Dickerson, Assistant Band Director. When he comes, our glorious king, all his ransom home to bring. Then anew his song we'll sing. Hallelujah, what a savior. Good evening. We welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit, and we welcome all of you to Hallelujah, what a savior, the sound of harmony number 10, presented by the Bahama Brass Band, Grand Bahama segment. We welcome our homegrown Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band. To my left. And help me welcome our special guests all the way from Jamaica, all the way from Jamaica, the Jamaican Constabulary Force Band. <laughs> Psalms 95, verses 5 through 6. Notice that we sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of the psalms, with trumpets and the sound of a horn. This is precisely our intent. Therefore, we are expecting a grand celebration of anointed music. So, you are here. Make it count. Open your heart and receive your miracle, your life transformation experience. So again, I hope you all feel welcome. Now, one or two things I need to do before I take my seat. And one of them is to establish protocol and then announce our Master of Ceremonies for this evening's presentation. And I'll get right to that. Our patrons, I must admit, that they're on their way. They phoned us. And that's none other than Bishop Dr. Franklin Ferguson, National Bishops with the Churches of God of Prophecy in the Bahamas, and his wife, Dr. Rowena Ferguson. Um, I want to, I know we have a cadre of bishops in the house, pastors, and ministers of the gospel. Just want to acknowledge you. Now with us, and I want to acknowledge the presence of the Honorable Fred Mitchell, Minister of Finance and Member of Parliament for the Fox Hill constituency. Mr. Mitchell, it's glad to have you here. He actually is no stranger to us. All of our parades in Grand Bahama, he's present. Um, I believe he's an honorary band member by now. I also want to acknowledge our very own Bahama Brass Band, Ambassador Leon Williams. Where's Brother Leon? Now our evening's presentation will be will be um, stared by a master of ceremony, 
He's a God-fearing man. He's an ambassador. He's a family man. He's a mumsy's boy. He's big brother and protector of his siblings. And that includes our director, Bishop Dr. Barry Morris. He's a, he's a renowned lecturer, a natural poet, and best-selling author, author, sorry, none other than Professor Gilbert Morris. Welcome and share him to as you come. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am on my feet in a church, so miracles do happen. Um, I should like to, uh, to thank uh, uh, Billy Dickerson, and I should also uh, like to give my regards to uh, the minister. I, I seem to see that you have gotten a new portfolio, which means I've been sending my letters to the wrong place. Um, uh, I should also like to recommend uh, or to recognize uh, the presence of uh, Her Excellency Ambassador uh, Di Quingley uh, and any other ambassadors here present. I haven't seen our partners in crime. Um, and certainly all the gentlemen and ladies of the Ecclesia, uh, clergy, uh, here present as well, and then friends, uh, guests, and other uh, dignitaries. It's a great pleasure uh, to be here. I had the pleasure of uh, watching the band director, uh, Bishop Barry Morris, grow up from a little boy, and I can say that uh, observing him in his uh, musical development was one of the greatest pleasures of my life that continues uh, to this day. I should have you know he was a lovely and thoughtful child and he's grown into a beautiful and elegant young man but I should also say that almost every member of the Bahama Brass Band is related to me in some way um, and so it's like family uh, here. I should like to welcome the, uh, the, our band, our guests from Jamaica. Um, we, we, we love Jamaica always, and uh, as part of that devious underpinning of our relationship, I wonder whether our band can beat your band running, but that's a different story. I turn now to our illustrious uh, defense force uh, ensemble, a band that's here today. Give them a round of applause. They are, they are important in more than musical ways as they defend the boundaries uh, of our sovereignty. And so they are to be regarded in that way. Well, these first eddies of our evening thus undertaken I shall ask you all, please, uh, the slight inconvenience of standing for the various national anthems which I turn over uh, to the masters of music. Please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the first, na the first national anthem will be played by our guests, the Jamaican national anthem. Please again, please once again welcome the Jamaican Police Force Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Bahamas National Anthem, played by the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the Church of God of Prophecy being performed by the Bahama Brass Band. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our Master of Ceremonies, His Excellency, Dr. Gilbert Morris. Yes, get away from me there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful uh, set of renditions. You know, the, the 18th century uh, German philosopher, it is, Immanuel Kant, wrote an essay called The Sublime and the beautiful. And one of the things he pointed out was that a society, you could tell the level of advancement of a society by their commitment to music. Part of the reason was particularly percussion, which is a, uh, an indication that that society had an understanding of marking time. And this marking of time, it turns out, is fundamental to physics, fundamental to biology, fundamental to various concepts of time, and even difficult subjects like quantum mechanics and certainly mathematics. And so what you see before you here is evidence that our society is capable of every concept known to the human being. And we are ourselves capable of that. Yes, give yourselves a round of applause. That is a, that is a very, very important point. And so, um, without any further uh, ado, we shall have our first act uh, by the uh, Bahama Brass Band.
I think that was wonderful. Should we give them another round of applause? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. Uh, beautiful music. Thank you very much, uh, Bahama Brass Band. I should like to recognize the uh, having arrived, uh, Bishop Dr. Franklin and Mrs. Ferguson. Uh, happy to have them here, uh, the patrons of this evening. And uh, I should like to say something. You know. Um, I, I, uh, Barry was not the only one who, uh, who was taught music in childhood. Um, I'm afraid when it comes to me, though, the story gets very, very complex. Um, I was assigned uh, Mr. Frank Lafleur, who's no longer with us, a master trumpeter who was meant to teach me the French horn, believe it or not. And, uh, it caused great frustration for Mumsy. I was never a disobedient child, but I was full of questions. And every time Mr. Lafleur would try to teach me about the horn, I would say, so you say this is a French horn, yes? He would say yes, and I would say, well, where did it come from in France? And he would try to explain, and I would say, do you know how many colonies Fra France has in the Caribbean and Africa? And he would say, but we're talking about music, not about politics. And the evening would go on quite like that until he would report to Mumsy with frustration that this boy is better off playing a book than a horn. <laughs> so there we are. Now we're going to have our Jamaican friends. Now, here's the thing. We, we have always loved our Jamaican friends, always. And uh, I believe it won, uh, many members of this band are from Turks and Caicos. Uh, originate in Turks and Caicos, many members of the audience as well, same peas and rice people. Um, and uh, it turns out that, that Jamaica used to have dominion over Turks and Caicos, you see? So we are much more joined as much as possible. And so this evening, uh, we now receive our rendition from our wonderful Jamaican friends. Please give them a round of applause.
sing great. I'll sing that song.
Oh, Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. I must say that uh, you, uh, it, it, was this, it was as if I were on the lawns of Devon House or the Terra Nova or perhaps somewhere in the wilds of Westmoreland. Uh, and uh, such beautiful, beautiful music. Beautiful music. Uh, beautiful music. I, I have a question for you. Um, Maestro, does, does one have to actually be a police officer to be a member of the band? One has to be a police officer? Yes. I just want to know in case I'm in Jamaica and something happens, I know that I have friends, that's all. But thank you. Wonderfully done, wonderfully done. Amazingly well done. Now we're going to go right to the, uh, the, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band. Now, now, my Defense Force brothers and sisters, we, we love our Jamaican friends and of course our Bahama Brass Band. But Jamaica has got only one island, you've got 700. So I need to hear some rhythms that come from all of them. Right now. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen.
you very, very much. Uh, another round of applause for the Defense uh, Force Band. This is a wonderful, wonderful rendition of uh, music here. Uh, three different uh, styles, wonderful, wonderful styles. I should tell you um, that uh, what I know of music theory, and we're not going back to my little escapade with the French horn again, but um, there's a rule called one drop rule, and you hear it across the three bands, where there's a, a rhythm with the snare drums and so on, going at the four beat, then there's one drop, and then the bass comes in and so on, and I hear it everywhere, and that adds to the sweetness of the music, I must say. All right, so I know I'm supposed to be tapping my feet and doing all that stuff and not thinking about music theory, but here we are. I haven't gotten over my, my, uh, my habits. The Prime Minister's uh, private secretary was uh, keen to ensure that the audience knows and the band members knows, all three bands, that he was intending to be here, but an emergency arose and he had to go to another island. And so he's here in spirit and congratulates you so far of course, I've sent videos of everything that's happened all over the world by now. Uh, in Jamaica, I've sent uh, to uh, the Prime Minister to make sure that, that I've made the case that you should have free houses and free food for the rest of the year. I don't know whether that will happen, but let's see. Um, there's uh, another announcement. Uh, there are booklets at the front for a little more than threepence, about $12, I believe. And, uh, Please avail yourselves of them and get yourselves a photograph, get the band members uh, to sign with you. Now we shall pause with the music and have uh, our distinguished uh, uh, Bishop Franklin Ferguson to come and give a few remarks uh, to the audience. Uh, Bishop Franklin. I'm short, so I gotta go a little higher. I can see everyone. You may be seated, you may be seated. Thank you very much, Dr. Morris. And good evening to everyone. Good evening. Now I can tell you, I first of all apologize for being late to the opening of the concert, but as you, many of you know, I was in another service, which was supposed to last an hour and a half, and ended up uh, lasting two hours, so. We had to just uh, switch out and get here. But I am so grateful to the Lord tonight to be here in this concert. What about you? And uh, I tell you, this, this is a continuation of what we had in Freeport last night because Freeport was a blast. Freeport was a blast last night and uh, we had uh, a full house and... Uh, what a joy it was to be among uh, the people of God and those who came out to enjoy the blessings of the Lord and to really hear uh, wonderful arrangements of music, to hear uh, old songs of Zion and uh, good arrangement on songs that we sing in certain places. But I thank God that I was there in Freeport last night and. Uh, had a wonderful time, and I said, Lord, well, we, we're done with one, and I, I'm hoping the second one. When I stepped in tonight, I heard, you know, similar music, and I sat top of my feet before I got to my seat. Wonderful. And I want you to really now already give the three bands a wonderful round of applause. We were truly worshiping last night and tonight, and I am thankful to... Um, Bishop Barry Morris uh, for originating the whole idea and getting everything working and organizing it. Give a big chair, come on. He deserves it. And give all the bands, because we were talking, I was talking with a gentleman at the airport, I believe this morning around six o'clock, and he was saying, I was saying, you know, people love to hear the good music that you that is played. We love to jump and sing and have a good time and worship the Lord, but they don't always appreciate the sacrifice the musicians make. And not just the musicians, but the musicians' family. 
their, their spouses and their children because when these men are out practicing, uh, men and women, uh, when they're out practicing here and there and have to spend long hours doing the work, we don't quite, we don't see that part of it. We only get the sweet part, which is at the end, we can enjoy it. But I want to say I appreciate uh, all of these bands who are doing this and, and made it possible for Sister Rowe and I to be the patrons of this, uh, this, this series of concerts. Let's give them all a good hand. Give Pastor Bishop Larry a good hand. And I thank them for considering us. We, as we prepare to the mid office, this is a wonderful way to go out, going out on the waves of music, going out enjoying the blessings of the Lord, and really having a good time. It's joy. It's adding to what I what I say about our leaving office, and that is we came in with joy and we are leaving with leaving with joy. Leaving with joy. The work of the Lord will go on. What do you say about that? The Bible, Jesus said, the gates of hell. Stop, don't, so don't think one negative thought. I knew Bishop Frank a long time ago. No, no. I don't know who's coming in. Don't worry about it. This is whose church? God's church. And we still got to have great music from the Bahama Brass Band. And we're going to still have great music from the Defense Force Band. And then we're going to invite the police uh, band out of Jamaica back again. And we're going to have good music from them as well. God is indeed good, and I thank him. And so, on behalf of Sister Rowe and myself, we do appreciate you, we do love you, and you know that. Um, that we love you, we appreciate the sacrifices that you make, the music ministry, and uh, whatever else you do. We appreciate you so much, and uh, we ain't going anywhere. I, be, I don't think the Lord told me he's going to take me out on, on September 1. That might be the case, who knows, but I haven't got that memo as yet. And so I'm going to stick and hang right around, and I'm going to be the same Bishop Frank. I'm going to be the same person. going to be no changes. I'm going to love you just the same and appreciate the ministry you're doing. Once again, I want you to give all the musicians a good round of applause. The three bands for the wonderful work they're doing. We love you. We appreciate you. God bless you.
Celebrating the resurrection of our King Jesus. 
the blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary oh it's the blood that gives me strength from day to day. Bahamas, it will Hallelujah, it's for You want to sing the chorus with me? For it reaches Come on everybody To the highest mountain Come on, let's lift up your praise Say Thank you, Lord Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I've got Jesus. Come on, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, turn to your neighbor and say, I've got Jesus. Because there is always somebody talking about me. But really, I don't mind. I'm talking to somebody in Bahamas. They try to stop and block your progress. Most of the time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. But the main thing they said won't make you feel bad. I can be 
Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this was, uh, this was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I think all three bands have been outstanding tonight and have shown great mastery. You remember when we began, I told you that ancient philosophers always said that the mastery of music is an example of the advancement of civilization. And I think we can say we have civilization here this evening. Thank you very much to our Jamaican friends. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band. The Bahama Brass Band. And I mean, I saw some things here. When I was, uh, before the age of majority, when I was yet a wee lad, um, I was in love with the percussion section, you know? I loved, so I hear um, Cousin Pedro there double timing and, you know, beat skipping and so on. I, I heard that, and I always loved that. And then I saw it just a moment ago, Cousin Lloyd found his inner Louis Armstrong, and I thought that was amazing. But I really love now the Gussie Mayhorns. The sousaphones, I mean, they are something else. They are something else. And so uh, it's wonderful. I, I have to say I'm a very formal fellow and awfully very quiet. And I tried to keep my composure, but I found that my feet were running into mischief and wouldn't, wouldn't sit still. And so I had to somehow compose myself and allow the music to wash over me. But this was wonderful and I think is a a very, very good time indeed. And you know, this isn't the full complement of our musical capabilities across all these countries. I mean, uh, we have the Bahamas Police Force Band, you have the various Junkanoo bands and so on, so there's a lot of music in us, you know? And so we must have more of these kinds of events and invite more friends and so on and ensure um, uh, that we have uh, these wonderful times together. And so, without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to Bishop, uh, Bishop Barry Morris. I have to tell you that uh, as the older brother, the oldest brother, the oldest, I get the inheritance. So, um, as, the, as the oldest, I, I will tell you that I take my pleasure whenever I see him in his element and carrying out the great gifts that he has been given that is my highest joy and my greatest happiness. And so I'm pleased to see that. And with that, uh, Brother Barry. Well done. Well done. I'm so proud of you. And so, absolutely. A very pleasant good evening to all. I find that um, since I hit the age of 50. It is easy for me to get emotional. My wife and I were watching a movie and at a particular point in the movie, I turned to her and I said, am I supposed to be crying at this point? I said, because my eyes are filled with water. My daughter who sits in front, when she was born, people call it colic. She had, you know, the gas thing going on. And I would have to walk the floor and sing. If I sat and sang, she would light the house up. If I walked and did not sing, she would light the house up. So I had to walk and sing. One night, I went into a room. It was a rather cold evening, and I went to pull the blankets over and when I saw the little girl who I held in my arm, right here, stretched across that bed, I just break down in tears. I said, what kind of God is this? A little infant telling me now what she wants, what color dress she wants to wear, what style she prefers. Jesus have mercy. Amen, but again, the Lord using you. The Lord using you. Yeah, Bishop Kendall just gave a prophetic word. <laughs> the 
This evening, I, I have a question to ask you. You think we should do this again? <laughs> yes, we'd love to do it again. Bigger and better. That's all right? Bigger and better. To every event such as this that is crowned with the presence of the Almighty God, His glory and splendor, we are provided with a gracious opportunity to say thanks. This undertaking is no trivial matter, as I have come to embrace that a vote of thanks is a most humbling task that expresses to those hearing how humble and grateful to you for sharing this journey with us. Every moment that caused this to be, the purchasing of your tickets, the driving to this place, preparing yourself, putting on clothes and getting all dressed up and sweet smelling. <laughs> Causes us to fold in humility to say thank you. We are grateful. It also serves as a confession that without you, your time, your finances and encouragement, this event could not be. One of the most powerful quotes given by Maya Angelou says, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you do. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you. That's for Maya, though. <laughs> Therefore, I have come to express how you made me and by extension, the Bahama Brass Band, this group of fine men, our guests, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band, and of course, our special guest, the Jamaican Constabulary Force Band. As I shared in another place, it was four years ago this thought came to my mind. It was days of disappointment, days of setback, and it seemed like it would never come to a fruition. But just as a parent who has long awaited the arrival of their child, and to hear the cries of that child that brings joy to the home, what was once a thought in the womb has now given birth, and there's joy in this house. Amen. I wish for you to embrace my humanity as it is impossible for me to thank everyone who contributed to this evening. That does not mean that I do not value your contributions. It just means that in due course, my humanity is being revealed. To our patrons, Bishop Dr. Franklin and Dr. Rovina Ferguson, this moment, as I said in another place, is a two-edged sword. You have allowed us to use your name to brand this moment, which means that it is a reflection of you. Additionally, that you have reposed significant and sufficient confidence in our determination for excellence and character, that your name could be used as our patrons. And to support that, you are present here with us to give affirmation of the same. We are grateful. We were crowned tonight with the ambassador from China. We also had the honorable Mr. Fred Mitchell. But you know what? I thank God Jesus is here. Yeah. Doesn't that make you feel good about it? We are grateful to the staff and leadership of this congregation, the Miles E. Monroe Diplomat Center, for making this available to us. 
I know sometimes we had serious demands, but you came through. And we are grateful. I want to ask you another question. What do you think about the Bahamas, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Plan? Let, tell me what you think about that. Let's try it again. What do you think about them? You know what is so sad? There's not one Jamaican in this house. Where the Jamaicans at? Anybody from Maypen? Clarendon? St. Catherine? <laughs> Mobe? Okay, we got a few of you here. This is good. You got a real flag. Do you know in Grand Bahama last night, we had Jamaican flags all over that place. I mean, they were marching with their Jamaican flag. You're only patriotic, man. What's going on with that? <laughs> You got your flag? Flag is just coming out now. All right, Jamaica is here. Jamaica is here. As our hearts were serenaded with beautiful music, I wish to thank Deputy Superintendent Darren McCarthy, who is the director of the Consulary Band. He has become my good friend. All the many nights of long talks on the phone. And we have developed a beautiful relationship. It seems as if I've known him for years. Thank you, sir. And thank you to all of you, my friends. <laughs> to our families, our wives and children, as Bishop Frank mentioned, who allowed us to come to rehearsal. I was traveling to Nassau, coming to rehearse with the brethren here. And uh, we had some long nights, and uh, they were away from their families. But we want to let you know we so appreciate you for your love and your care. Let's give the families a round of applause. I do not take for slight that I'm royalty. I don't take it for slight. And I chose for myself a queen. Oh, yeah. She's that. Plenty more. She's with me every step of the journey. She lets me make noise. Let my children make noise. And we have a, you know, when I'm sitting up arranging music, uh, my son is there with his drumsticks and he's giving me some rhythm. And my baby, Layla, is there marching up the parts with me. Daddy, I think that alto will fix right. Maybe you need to bring that tenor down some more. And she could hear the parts, and she's there telling me uh, what sounds better. I appreciate my family. Would you stand? <laughs> let, let, them, let them see you. Barry's probably somewhere behind here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He wants all things music. He wants all things music. To this August body of men called the Bahama Brass Band, I'm eternally grateful to you for your long hours of rehearsals, encouragement. Sometimes I can be a little rough. It's necessary. Um, but they get it. They know I love them dearly. You know that, right? Wonderful. Answer is stronger. Answer is stronger than that, man. Jesus. Listen, Bishop Kendall in here, you know, he's victimized for me, like you. Uh, but they understand how it gets tough sometimes. And I want to let you know, brethren, I value your consistent determination. And I love all of you dearly. The concert, maybe will continue. I think I hear the Bahama Brass Band going to Jamaica. Get the bami. I'm a salt fish and aki. And my salt in. Yeah. Me want all of it. Yes. 
In closing, I, I want to ask something of you. The Bahama Brass Band, I could speak from this part extemporaneously. The Bahama Brass Band has been in operation in New Providence since 1925. Next year will be 100 years of celebration. The Bahama Brass Band has been alive in Grand Bahama since 1955. A total of almost 170 years. No active band member has ever went before a magistrate, a judge, and sentenced to prison. I know you give more, you give bigger one than that. And though we get some hits sometimes, you know, we got ministers who go to jail. But this band, the People's Band, the Prophecy Band, the Bahama Brass Band, you can't go nowhere and no record nowhere in the Bahamas and find that a member of the Bahama Brass Band was sentenced to prison. I think that's a good, good thing. And so we've embarked on a program because I believe that this qualifies us to reach this crime sick society that we're living in. The crime problem that we have is between the ages of 13 to 25, the majority of them are young men. This band has the goods to deal with these young men and give them the turnaround that they need. Amen. Amen. And so, while this concert that should have been $100 per person tonight, because if we were someplace else in the world, that's what it would cost. The Bahama Brass Band went to Turks and Caicos, and the door fee was $75. When I told them, being arrested by my culture, I told them we could do tickets for $20. He said, no, man, you haven't programmed. Don't come here. That's say, ain't nobody coming. That you need to do that for $75 or $100. We charged folks $75 to come in there, and there was not a seat in the room. Yeah? So when we go other places, people put value to what we do. I understand the scriptures. I understand it. You know, we own. I, I got that. But I want you to help us with something. This, this effort that we are making to start it is going to cost $500,000. That's not a lot of money. We get 500 people to give $1,000. We've got it. It's just that simple. 10,000 people to give 500. We've got it. Any more than that, I need a calculator. I got to go out again. But the reality is, this is doable. And so, we're going to ask uh, drummers, get your drum, get your drum cases. This is going to be the buckets by which you support us in this. I mean, want you just to give a little, you know, to help us out, to help these. When you see what this band is going to do, it will be a testament to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas that this institution is serious about changing troubled lives. Amen. Some of us, some of us up in here, had it not been for this band, we'd been in some places where the buckets didn't reach down yet. Y'all moving slow. The king's business. Yes. Now, for our patrons, last evening, we gave you a little heavy gift. It required, we had to have people lift it for them, you know? This one is a little small. Come and join me, the Franks. Bring your, bring your darling queen. Now, she had on a green dress last night. You should do this in reverse it. She had on a lovely green dress last night, so I was provoked to get you this 
green. Right? So Frank, this is for you. Now, I want you to open it in front of everyone. I want you to open it. There's a You see, this is it? May I hold it up for them to see? It's a leather passport holder. And the reason why they have this passport holder is because they're going to have to put their passports in it. You don't want your passport getting dog ears and all that kind of thing looking unkept. But where you're going to use this is what's important. Both of you have earned a round trip all expense paid to join the Bahama Brass Band in Havana, Cuba. June 6 through 11. She was wondering why I tell her she needed June 6, 11 free. Now you know. We are going to Cuba, everybody. Amen. Let's give them a round of applause. So get your Spanish. Que hora es? Pantalones, supermercado, that's as far as I can go. Vamos, amigo. Mm -hmm. Glory out of yours. There you go. Okay, I, sorry. You gotta take that again. Sorry. Let's give them a round of applause. Put it to the door. You put it to that door. You may be seated. Let's give them a round of applause. I can't wait to see Sister Rose Sashay. Ben, Ben, Ben. Oh, Lord of mercy. And so I just simply want to say in closing how grateful I am to all of you. I look in front of me and I see all of our bishops here. I see. Bishop Bo, who's a veteran trombone player in the Bahama Brass Band. I see Bishop Gailey, who never allowed me to hear him play the saxophone in the Bahama Brass Band. He, he quit before I reach. Yeah, boy, that's something. Bishop Kendall, who's a serious trumpeter, legendary. His grandfather was the first band director. And so there's a lot of history going here. Brother Bronson was my student. Bishop Bronson is my student. I was teaching him how to play the trombone. Hey, Megan. <laughs> we can keep you in prayer. We can keep you in prayer. Bishop Julian, God bless you so much for being here. Bishop Phil. The Lord bless you. Let's give them a round of applause. Bishop Ian, I bless you. And my comrade, Bishop Kirk, good to see you. Bishop Benneby, good to see you. Bishop Ferguson, and uh, all here. Let's, all the bishops stand, let me see you. Amen. All of you stand. Let me. These are our bishops. Of course, Bishop Cheval prayed for us. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. All of the members... And also, you know, I can't forget him. My preaching partner, my good brother, Bishop Timothy, Bishop Fritz. I can't get the Timothy, get all my, my tongues get tied up when I call him that. Stand and let them see you. The sharpest bishop we got in the church of God of Prophecy. <laughs> my children are his God children. My son said today, I'm going to put on my godfather, Fritz Shoes. Mm -hmm. and so we just want to let you know that truly we appreciate you. I'm going to ask the Defense Force Band to stand one more time. <laughs> Come on, let's give them a rousing round of applause. Stand on your feet. The Jamaican... Constabulary 
Police Force Band. Bishop Terence Forbes, please stand. Bishop still playing the band. There's a particular bishop we're trying to get him to return. And that is Bishop Dr. Albert Ferguson. Would you stand? He is the last among the original clarinet players. This man will play a clarinet and bring you to Jesus. Uh, and so we're going to try our best. I'm going to put Ambassador Leon on that. Bahama Brass Band, would you stand? Let's give the Bahama Brass Band a round of applause. Now let's give everybody a round of applause. Did you enjoy yourself this evening? Did you really enjoy yourself this evening? Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. And so... I'm going to ask us all to stand. We're going to invite Bishop Branson Gibson. I also would like to thank, uh, once again, my humanity, Mr. Kevin Harris, for all of his assistance in causing this event to be. Let's give him a round of applause. Put together an entire team, people working desks, people working counter, people selling tickets. He did the whole thing. And we are grateful to you. God bless you. Uh, the, and we want to my right, see I'm telling you, where's Bishop Harry Simmons? The second to the third overseer. And his lovely choir. Let's give them a round of applause who set the mood in the room this evening. God bless you. Last but not least, my big brother. My big brother, Gilbert. Uh, we had a little situation where the original MC called and said he could not make it anymore. And so I told him, I said, check your email. And I simply said in the email, you're my big brother. Things like this, big brothers do. You have to MC the concert on Sunday. And of course, he embraced it. Thank you, Gilbert. You remain my hero. God bless you, Bishop Branson. Oh, by the way, the boxes, the, the love gift boxes, donations are at the door. So, Bishop Frank said, I need to say it again. And he's going in his wallet. So, I know that's $100 right there. Uh, and so, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's going to be a, so we're going to, and see, that's something I like with my bishop. He's a given man. And so we want you to give and give as you, as after the benediction, sisters, go in your purse. Ladies, when you're broke, you're down to your last $500. When men are broke, we're down to our last 20. And so we want you to get that $50 and that $100 and the $20 and give to this cause so you could watch this band do what it must do for God and this country. Man, let's give Bishop Barry a good round of applause, please. What a blessed day. Sorry, what a blessed resurrection day it has been. Two amens. What a blessed resurrection day it has been. We thank the Lord. We honor God for such a powerful day. And uh, we want you to now, by your heads, please prepare. Uh, for our closing. Father, we thank you, we bless you, and we honor you for your faithfulness. We thank you for these three bands that are gathered here tonight, and thank you for Bishop Dr. Ferguson and Dr. Rovina Ferguson. We pray that you continue to bless all of us as we continue the journey. We praise you, we honor you, we thank you for your wonderful sacrifice in allowing us to be here tonight. We appreciate you, and we appreciate your goodness toward us. And now, Father God, as we prepare to go, we pray a blessing over these bands and a blessing over your people, a blessing over our patrons. And we ask, Lord, that you keep each and every one of us. We pray now that the grace of our Lord, the blessing of our Savior, 
the great shepherd of the sheep, be with us all, both now and forever. Let everybody say, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you.